Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, it helps me greatly. Guys, 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 it's the best time of the day, coffee time. So, I have been meaning to do, to redo my coffee video because it is too fast, it's one minute and it really doesn't show the technique and many people have been asking me questions. So, um, I will do a homemade latte without any machinery, as you can see I don't have any electric coffee machines. So uh, I have my Costa Rica drip coffee here and then I have the stovetop espresso maker and I will need one of these and a French press, coffee of course. Of course we will need milk. I am going to use coconut almond um, by Almond Breeze. It seems to be the best for frothing that I found. And of course milk, milk is the best. Coffee needs to be kept actually in a dark place at a room temperature, but to the cooler side of the room, like maybe closer to an outer wall. This is mainly for the show. This is not where I usually keep my coffee. And always, uh, grind your coffee fresh. Grind it fairly fine, you know, if you look up kind of espresso uh, grind, you'll see, you'll see kind of where to stop. So now we just make the coffee. Okay, add water here. Couple of scoops in there. All right, we pick this up. When you're doing the latte art, it really likes slow process of like, you know, like. <laughs> really zen moments because when I make coffee and I'm in a hurry and I'm just like my usual self of like chop chop it definitely doesn't come out because I'm just too quick and it just doesn't allow time for things to mix and happen so remember take a deep breath maybe do a yoga session and start your latte art I'm gonna be bouncing off the walls with these couple of cups of <laughs> coffee because I'll drink it I will drink it. Since the coffee is going to take a minute, I start hearing the coffee brewing. Then I will start heating this up so that they can come out kind of at the same time. But obviously, I will put just a tiny bit of honey in one of mine. The other one I'll leave it as is. Or maybe the other one I'll make a mocha. Let's do that. This one I'll turn into a mocha. Definitely do all the prep beforehand so that when everything comes out, you're not necessarily wasting too much time, getting your coffee cold, frothing your milk, then having it sit there. I'm starting to hear the coffee, which means it's a good time to start putting the milk in there because it will start, yep, it's almost ready. Pretty much the only time I use my microwave is to heat up milk. It's the best, <laughs> the best use of it. You may need a thermometer. I have an electric one that I will use. I'll do about 150-ish. About 150. You just cannot boil it and it cannot be too hot. It needs to be able to froth. You don't want your coffee to be too much. Less coffee, better chance you have at your latte art because there's more room to play. 42, I'll just leave it at that. Okay, here are some tricks. You don't want to froth too long. It needs to, it can't become too thick where it doesn't have a flexibility to flow. So it has to, you have to find a spot. So I would say a couple of, couple of big ones like this, it rises and then now just keep it short at the bottom and get those bubbles out. So now I'm, all I'm doing is I'm trying to get the bubbles out. I'm no longer trying to raise 
or thicken the milk. So it feels fairly liquidy. It feels pretty liquidy, right? Yeah? So that's how it should be. And I'm gonna pour it back and forth just to mix up the consistency and make sure it is all um, at the right, you know, it's all mixed in. Okay, this is where you do the usa, breathe, get the bubbles out. First, you start by pouring from the top so you can um, mix the milk. Then you'll bring it close and do your drawing. So, so I'm just circularly doing that. Now I'll bring it close and I'll move it and move it up. Okay. Okay. So as I told you, I am rusty on this whole flower thingy, but it's getting better and better. Again, mix this back and forth a bit. You can practice, watch lots of videos, and get better and better, better, better and better at this. There. I got nervous. I was on a good track, but that happened. I am not a pro at drawing. I have become a pro at making the right foam. Because, of course, I... See, I didn't do the usa. I should have done yoga first. <laughs> However, if you look at this, you know, the foam is silky, it's smooth, it's shiny. I hope you can see it properly. This would, would have been pretty cool too if it didn't spill, but then, hey, it's okay. This one is <laughs> modern art. <laughs> Look at that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, hit subscribe, like, share in your social media, that will help me greatly. If you think of sharing this on your Facebook and sharing it with your friends, that definitely helps me greatly to continue making these videos, so please do. Sharing is caring. And um, I will see you next time.